Welcome back. You're still with me, Cindy Samyeza, on Iron KZN. Now, the Drakensberg Mountains, or Ukasamba, is a 200-kilometer-long mountainous wonderland and a heritage site, which makes perfect sense why Tourism KZN would want to hold this month's tourism celebration in this area. It has breathtaking sights. It has accommodation, outdoor adventure activities. Now, join us as we seek some thrills to get that adrenaline pumping. The largest part of the Drakensberg area falls in Guazulu Natal, combining sheer natural beauty with a wealth of biological diversity. The Ukatlamba Drakensberg Mountains is also steeped in history. It has got rock art dating, carbon dating, back to 2000 years ago. Of course, it's been declared a World Heritage Site, for which we are and will always be grateful. <laughs> In an effort to showcase the area, Tourism Month celebrations were held here to build on its already rich legacy. The Utuela district is one of the significant areas of importance in the district since we have a well heritage site and we are also responsible for the provision of water as a district municipality, which also uh, <coughs> provides water to other provinces including Gauteng province. There are also several adrenaline pumping activities you can get up to while in the area. Uh, basically what we can offer is fun, it's leisure, uh, people they can enjoy this area as the home of music. When you talk of latest mint Black Mambazo, it comes from the area. When you talk of heritage activities, this is the area to be. The location for the celebrations was at the Three Cities Alpine Heath Resort, which is located in the heart of the majestic Drakensberg Mountains. The venue on its own is a well-known attraction. We opened up as a conference resort and we ideally situated as a conference resort. We've got three function rooms that can uh, accommodate up to 220 people. We've also got, uh, if we do, we've got the large open spaces and grounds, which helps uh, ideal for conferencing and marquees for up to 600 people. Our chalets are all three bedroom chalets, um, sleeping six people per chalet, so we can sleep 600 people. Um, so as a conferencing destination, we're a fantastic, ideally located. Midway between Durban and Joburg, also midway between Bloemfontein and um, P uh, Pretoria. So we've also turned it into a leisure destination, fantastic leisure opportunities. The Drakensberg is really, it's a destination. We've got the amphitheater here, right here, we've got the Tukela Falls, which is the second highest waterfalls in um, the world. Um, amphitheatre World Heritage Site. KZN is the only province with two World Heritage Sites, St. Lucia and uh, the, the Drakensberg. Um, we've got the hiking opportunities, the bird life um, opportunities here, um, and in the battlefields in the, in the Drakensberg as well. With so much to see and do within the resort, located in close proximity to a number of natural wonders like the Tugela Falls and the amphitheatre. One is spoiled for choice. I decided to opt for all-out adventure. All-out adventures is the biggest adventure center in this area. It offers seven great activities all in one venue. A glimpse of the 20 meter spiral staircase as you step out of your vehicle will have you gasping in anticipation. All Art Adventures is here to give us a taste of what we can do when we're at the Drakensberg Mountain. Now people are getting ready to get on the zip line. I'm going to join them. I'm excited, also nervous, but you know what? It's fun. The zipline is a 175 meter cable slide to a treetop platform and another 125 meter slide back to the center. Next was the King Swing, a 17 meter free fall and swing from a treetop suspension bridge, accessed via the spectacular 21 meter spiral staircase. Oh. 
<laughs> now that was crazy. I don't know if I'm able to do another outdoor activity today. I'm just a wreck. But I'm glad that I did it. I'm done for today. Day two in the mountains turned out to be very cold, but it wasn't enough to dampen the enthusiasm of this eager crew. Keen to make the most of all these wonders available here, we headed off to Four Rivers Rafting and Adventures, a family-run adventure company. Four Rivers Rafting and Adventures started up in 1999. Um, it's a small family-based business, um, and ever since then we've just grown into something really big, which offers so many different activities. We offer mountain boarding, quad biking, river rafting, kloofing, uh, off-road segway tours, zipline, painful, so we have a lot of activities. Tell us about the reception. Um, when people come here, what do they get excited about? What do they want to do? Um, our, our core business is mostly our quad biking um, and then our river rafting. Our river rafting is, um, it, it basically runs through our, our, our um, summer months, obviously because of the winter and the summer rainfall, so that usually runs from December till April. Um, and then our kloofing in the winter months, we offer that, which is in the heart of the Injutsuti Valley. Um, and that's basically abseiling down waterfalls. Um, so that's what we offer instead of the rafting in the quieter months. Do you get a lot of tourists that come to the Drakensberg Mountains, um, to this area? Do you, do you find that uh, people are well aware of this area? Look, I think uh, it definitely needs to be a lot more marketed, uh, just purely because um, you know, everyone seems to go to the coast and now there is so much happening here in the Berg, there's so much to do um, that I think a lot of people are becoming more aware of it. Um, so yeah, I think it's getting a lot busier and it, also for corporate groups. Um, for corporate groups people come in um, and yeah, it, it's really, I think it's getting better and getting busier. Okay, so your establishment is not about um, accommodation, it's just purely outside activities. Look, we, we haven't started our accommodation. We're in the process of building accommodation, which is almost a backpacker style um, accommodation that we are building, and that should be finished by the end of October. Another high octane adventure opportunity sees eager tourists lining up to do is the Segway tour through the mountains. Malcolm, this is called a Segway. Explain it to me, what, what happens here? Okay, these are Segways. These are specially designed off-road Segways. So how, as you can see, they're quite uh, robust with the tires that they have on them. Okay. And uh, these are uh, electric machines. So okay. they self -char they, we charge them with electric cable. They don't use any petrol. They are green machines. A lot of fun, a lot of good entertainment, which we do tours. We do half an hour, hour tours, forest tours as well as a training obstacle course which we have behind us. I don't know how to move forward. I don't now know you've got what it. to do. As it works is this machine, okay. it works all with how you react to it. Okay. So it works with, it's got sensors underneath it. And as you work with your weights, if you push forward, the unit will go forward. If forward. you push back, it will go backwards. Okay. So as you push on your toes, Oh, and then okay. on your heels and that Seems is simple easy. and the steering Enough. as you can see is very sensitive you just turn it to the side and that's how you steer okay so you push it into the direction so that i you move go. this way yeah and then the other way and then the other way that's and it and then how do you i stop back. Uh, you st okay go back now lean backwards on your heels oh and there oh, you go wow. so if you're going forward and you want to stop you would just go forward and then lean back so you in your forward motion you just put your weight onto your back and it'll slow down okay cool let's try this i think it's cool <laughs> Biking through the mountains is the ultimate adventure dream, and that's exactly what we got up to on our third day in the Berg. Sunny Pass Hotel has an extensive range of facilities to ensure non stop fun and relaxation for all. Quiet bike tours up to the famous Sunny Pass depart daily from the hotel. Um, basically, Sunny Pass Hotel is in Drakensberg. Um, we are about two and a half hours away from Durban. And um, when you get to the hotel, well, there's a lot of activities you can do on the property, from quad biking to horse riding to trips up the Sunny Pass, the Great Sunny Pass um, route um, to Lesotho. Um, and we are located at the very foot of the pass. So we usually get guests, guests that come here to go up the pass and they spend the night here, or after they come down, that's where they spend the night. Breathtaking sights, marvelous atmosphere, and adrenaline pumping sports. All in all, a great experience, and I plan to be back here for the December holidays.
It certainly was food for the soul. I feel revived and rejuvenated. Next time you're in Kaiserin, make sure you visit the mountains. But we've come to the end of our show. From me, Cindy Somyeza, it's goodbye. <laughs>